For any person who hasn't worked in the dry cleaning business, it's in fact a bit of a mystery. It's even a little bit suspicious. What happens to your favorite clothes when they get here? And why can they do a better job than me? This is a washing machine, but how is it different from the one I have at home? Here are an iron and board, pretty similar to any you will find in someone's apartment. So I just don't get it. I can't understand what really happens here. But modern dry cleaning services can do what domestic detergents and machines can't. But what exactly is it that they do? What mechanisms do they use? And is there anything they can't do? Make yourself comfortable. Now, I will reveal all their secrets. Let's look around a modern laundromat. What are its essential elements? Here it is, a dry cleaning machine. The one that uses organic solvents instead of water. However, they are not really dry, and the machine itself resembles an ordinary domestic washing machine. Although it's bigger. And inside, the items that cannot be cleaned with water are spun and cleaned. Woolen things, coats, suit jackets, pants, leather and suede clothes. Sheepskin coats, jackets, fur coats, delicate fabrics, silk linen. It seems that this is a regular wash. But let's wait for the end of the process to make sure that they are clean and dry. Organic solvents rock. Here's a machine that does the opposite to dry cleaning, wet cleaning. It even has more similarities with a domestic washing machine, but still, there are some differences. Yes, water is used here, but it is pre-cleaned and softened. It is difficult to wash with hard water. It uses professional detergents in liquid doses. You can also find fabric conditioners similar to supermarket ones. Some of them make clothes softer. Others, on the contrary, give them a starchy effect. Water temperature varies from 80 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. It doesn't rise above 110. And here is a special advanced mode for spinning the drum. This is probably the most unexpected option of modern dry cleaners. On the other hand, it is very convenient. We use shoes and bags every day, and they also tend to become dirty. By the way, these things have one unpleasant feature for dry cleaners. It is the lack of information, labels inside, which indicate the material of the item and how it should be cleaned. So here, the workers have to rely on their experience. But don't forget about the labels. Today, labels have all the information in great detail. There are so many symbols that sometimes they contradict each other. You look at the tag and understand that the thing can neither be washed nor ironed. Wear it and throw it away? But does it make any difference if people most of the time don't look at the symbols and don't even understand them? So here's a short educational program. There are five basic symbols. Washing, drying, ironing, bleaching, dry cleaning. Now, here are the nuances. Washing, it means that this thing can be washed in the machine or water cleaned. But if the symbol looks like this, you can only wash the item by hand. The number indicates the highest temperature of the wash. One line below means delicate mode, or especially delicate. Now try to understand what this drawing means. Especially delicate hand washing? What does that even mean? You can't even touch the item. Let's move on. Drying. 
A circle in the middle means it can be machine dried. In a dryer. Vertical and horizontal lines mean no dryers. Only aired and respectively in the vertical or horizontal position. There's another symbol. It means it should be dried in the shade. Imagine, this means drying in open air, horizontally, and in the shade. Well, does anyone even care? Moving on. Ironing. Well, this is the most understandable and obvious symbol. The dot inside means temperature. The more dots, the hotter the iron. This means that you cannot use steam when ironing. Next. Bleaching. There's a funny clarification. If there's a triangle, then bleaching is not allowed with substances containing chlorine. Again, I don't understand who really cares. And finally, this symbol is the symbol for dry cleaning. That is, the item should not be washed with water, only with organic solvents. P means tetrachloroethylene. F, hydrocarbon solvents, the ones used by the very first dry cleaning services. And finally, the crosses mean prohibited. And trust me, some labels indicate that you can't do anything with a piece of clothing. I'm really curious to find out what dry cleaners do in that case. And now, the main secret of dry cleaning. What happens to your favorite clothes when they get here? It all starts with the items being evaluated. Things are not just taken for cleaning, they are described in detail. What stains they have, damage, and so on, so that no issues arise later on. In the end, the client signs the contract and the clothes go on to the next stage. Sorting. They are once again inspected by specialists and distributed into different departments. Some will be water clean, others dry cleaned, and so on. At this stage, technologists decide how the item will be treated. And if they do not agree with the recommendations that are written on the label, they will simply ignore them. This is a very important stage. All accessories, buttons, fasteners, jewelry, are unsewn. All the things that can't be unsewn are covered with a soft cloth. I could see it somewhere, yeah, here. Hardly anyone will do this at home. It is done to prevent the accessories from damaging the fabric. And the next stage. Pre-soaking or manual cleaning. It is also professionally called pre-treatment. Particularly dirty areas are cleaned separately, several times if needed. And then the clothes are sent into either a wet cleaning machine or a dry cleaning one. By the way, one item is never washed separately. One shirt, one jacket, no. Only a few things together at once. And it's not done like that to save money. One item of clothing alone can't be washed properly. Therefore, if there are no other clothes of a suitable fabric, then special towels go in along with them. After the treatment, everything is examined again, and if the stains aren't gone completely, tags like these are stuck next to them. Then the item is again manually washed with the help of this steam gun. Next come the form finishers that we've already talked about. 
And this is not the only method used for ironing. There are machines that straighten cuffs and collars. For the final ironing and creating creases, the piece of clothing is ironed by hand. At the final stage, all the accessories are sewn back in place. Buttons are sewn, fasteners, zippers, and jewelry. And all the clothes are put on hangers or shelves until the client comes to collect them. Of course, sometimes it happens that clothes can't be completely cleaned. Anything can happen. All this is explained in the contract between the client and the dry cleaner. Well, the truth is that it rarely happens. Nowadays, we know how to remove paint and iodine stains effectively. Dry cleaning is the final frontier. It separates homo sapiens from homo modern contemporary man. After all, if we go to professionals for clothes and food production, hairstyling and health care, then why do we wash our own clothes? Right, of course, dry cleaning is the final frontier, but one day we will overcome it. <laughs>